Good morning, happy peoples. Say good morning. Good morning. It's not morning, it's afternoon. We always good, say good morning. But good it's afternoon, everybody. <laughs> That's it. Do you want to tell them what kind of has been going on with you? Well, I... Here, here you okay. go. Okay. Hold on, she's going to take over and let you guys know kind of what's been going on with her. Here I go. have a allergic reaction. My... You have a allergic reaction, yeah. I can only eat... Well, we're seeing if that I can eat. So, I can only, I can't have any sugar. Um, I can have green beans, I can have um, burger meat, um, <laughs> like chicken, um, beef, the beef there. We're doing like no wheat, no. we're doing no sugar. The beef, we can, I can have the beef. No, no gluten. Rice. Rice, right? She's been able to have some rice. Tell them what's going on with your mouth. What's been bothering you? It's always itching. It's always itching. It's never stopping itching. Well, well, I'm starting to take this, but we might think I am allergic to that. No, you're not allergic to this. Okay. It says allergies on it. There. So that's what's been kind of going on with her, is that she is struggling with some allergies and it is not good. Like, she really, really had me concerned with the fact that she, like she said her throat was starting to close up on her. So I was like, uh, Benadryl, Benadryl, get the Benadryl. So I did that and she was fine, she was okay after that, but it was still like, oh, really, really scary. I think it's linked to a probiotic. So I was downstairs sleeping on the couch and I was straight down. And my throat, it felt like it was squeezing up. It felt like it was closing. So I, I told mom and I said, I said, um, mom, it's tightening up. And then so she, she ran um, and got the Benadryl on and I took a sip out of the bottle because we couldn't find the cup. So I drank a little out of it and then it didn't work. Tried another one. And it won't. So I'm going to go and I'm going to head out. The kids are, Evelyn and Garrett are going to be watched by Judith. You haven't seen her in a bit, but she's going to come over and she's going to watch the kiddos. I'm going to head to the property and I'm going to meet with our designer there. We're going to do kind of a walkthrough of the home so she can kind of get a good feel, good layout and whatnot. Um, Audrey girl, what are you going to go gonna do? I'm going to babysit. She's gonna go babysit for her cousins. She's gonna go babysit her cousins. Well, um, she's gonna be an assistant to Aunt Cheryl. She's gonna go help her out. Super excited about that. Do you have your babysitting handbook? Yeah, I loaded everything up in my car. Her car. She's on it. Guys, I don't know what it was like when you guys babysat. Let me know this actually. When you went and you went and babysat, did you like make sure their dishes were done? clean up, maybe even vacuum, watch the kids, maybe prepare a meal. If it was late, you put the kids to bed. There's not too many babysitters like that anymore. I have been fairly lucky. My babysitters are pretty, they're pretty top notch. But for the most part, they like don't exist. So if you're a young person, good babysitter, be that way. Because moms love coming home to a clean home and they love having their kiddos all like ready for bed and or in bed or well, you know, everything they've already eaten. They play games, they do crafts. That's what I would do when I was a babysitter. So be that babysitter because you will never be without a job. So we're gonna head that direction. Daddy is on his way home. He bought the car. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. Happy people. So it's the next morning. I'm gonna get on the road. I got stuck on some work stuff for a little bit. Not a big deal. But just in case you guys don't know, you guys can go to 511.alaska.gov. 511.alaska.gov. It'll tell you different road conditions on different highways here. For example, a friend of mine who is a trucker refused to drive yesterday because he went to this app and the roads looked bad. And he called some friends and there's eight semi trucks that were in the ditch because of blizzard conditions. So super smart to do this. Uh, it was looking really bad on the Parks Highway, which is the highway that runs from Anchorage to Fairbanks and ultimately North Pole. 
but it's looking better today according to this app. However, there's still some spots that are, looks like about five inches of snow with some 11 mile an hour winds, but um, I've got a four wheel drive rig, should be okay. So let me get on the road, but just remember that if you guys are traveling Alaska highways, you're not sure, 511.alaska.gov. And let's get on the road. Hey Siri, get directions to North Pole, Alaska. Getting directions to North Pole. Oh boy. Starting route to North Pole. <laughs> here we go. They had a winter marathon going on here. It's hilarious. They have some of the roads blocked off. They're running through snow berms. Let me show you. Check this out. All right, guys. I'd get in so much trouble if I didn't go home. I had to make a quick pit stop here at Krispy Kreme. We'll get like five or six dozen donuts and go bring them to some of our family members. I think Jessica and Lance wanted some. The kids wanted some. This will be like their surprise. This will be like their, they did a good job while daddy was gone. Have fun, be good. All Do right. a good job I babysitting. Love you. Love you. <laughs> bye. 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 I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, she's growing up. Don't mind my fried rice. Oh my gosh, she's growing up. She's not allowed to grow up. Not ready. She's like, Mom, you realize I'm almost a teenager. No, you're not. Okay, yeah, she really is. Me. Sad and nervous. Okay, so she's gonna go babysit. The other two are being babysat, and I'm on my way to go to the meet up with my designer. My husband's on his way from Anchorage. <laughs> our life! Guys, does our life seem so crazy and weird? I don't know. I don't know what other people's lives are like. I don't know what they do. I mean, I know what some of them do, but oh, sometimes I feel our life is so crazy. All right, let's head to the property. And that was a branch. guys just pulled over for just a little bit try to wake up roads are not too crazy I definitely had to put it in the four-wheel drive though the full-time all-wheel drive to try to stay a little more stable but yeah I saw one moose in the road there was cars I don't know if you saw there's one upside down in the ditch there was one I couldn't several I actually couldn't quite catch that were off the road so that was last night so it's a good thing I didn't leave last night in case you guys ever drive the parks highway here driving like Anchorage, Anchorage Fairbanks area there's there's a mile marker every mile we have gone roughly 200 miles or so so 208 actually I'll show you the mile marker right here so we've got about 170 miles to go I try not to look at the mile markers too often because it's kind of like watching a, a pot and kettle never boil yes I'm starting to get hungry though and there's no gas stations out here guys we're halfway between anchorage and fairbanks this is literally the wilderness the middle of nowhere bears moose a lot of snow machines here guys this is this is the area here like the cantwell trapper creek this is the area where uh you'll see a lot of uh the trailers and trucks people go ride out snow machines because some of this powder you can't tell those look like little those look like little bushes right there but that tree is probably there's probably eight foot at least of snow right there that you can't see these look like bushes too but those are the tops of small trees <laughs> we've come out here snow machining before it's uh it's a whole lot of fun you gotta make sure you go to the group though because you can get yourself in trouble if you don't so all right I'm nice and cold now and woken up. So I'm gonna get back in the car and come with me. Try to keep me awake, guys. Don't let me fall asleep. I just finished up meeting with Jamie. It was awesome. We got to nail down some of the finalization here. Um, what are some of the things I can share with you guys? We're undecided about this entry area. So you can see the entry, how it has two closets here. We're thinking of killing one of those and like making it like a neat, um, little nook area like with a big hutch and stuff. Let me know what you think about that idea. Oh, we're thinking about making this like a little alcove, like a little seating area. 
in this closet here. So like a little bench with like some hooks and whatnot. I love that idea. I thought that was super cute because it'll be coming off of my laundry and my bathroom. So I thought that was neat. We are going to go forward with our bathroom because I'm really hesitant about doing like a tub in the center, two sinks on either side, the shower room, the toilet room, and then the closet over here. So I didn't know how to make this look right with it in between. I was very hesitant. We might pop a window in here. I don't know. If my babe does not want to do it, we will not do it. But that's an idea of putting like a nice window there near the tub and just have like kind of a tinted or frosted looking glass, but making it kind of like a focal piece. So those were kind of the main things. We're trying to nail down plumbing. So making sure I know where my washer and dryer are going and my sinks and everything like that. But look what we got. Kind of excited, kind of excited. What is this, what is this? Boom. That's a tub. That is a tub. Yes. I'm so excited that we have a tub. We have a tub now. One step closer to bathing my kids. What the bloody was that? So that's what we're just trying to, it's like picking out little things here and there to make sure everything is roughed in properly and planning for things ahead of time, being ahead of the ball game. Like windows and stuff, we have to order things a lot of times and they could be eight weeks out easily and we need to make sure that we know what we're doing so we don't hold up the job which holds up production which essentially costs you more money. So we need to be very diligent on making sure that things are picked out, ready to rock and roll. The thing that we kind of talked about was doing maybe like a, a butler's pantry almost, where you kind of have like a little prep area in your pantry. So that's another idea. If you, any of you guys have a butler's pantry or like, like a little prep service area in tucked in back in your pantry, let me know if you like that or not. But yes, Audrey just showed up at her babysitting job. She says it's going fantastic. Kiddos are still with Judith and Daddy is still driving from Anchorage. So excited, guys. So many things are happening. We're gonna head uh, probably back to the house to go get go pick up the kiddos, and then I've got a lot of running around to do. I have to go into town and go get stuff for the Awana store and um, get stuff ready for Awana tomorrow. But my babe should be here soon or rather than later. I need to call him and see how far out he is. So let's, let's go give him a little jingle. Did you call me? Yes. Are you going to go flush some water planters? Oh. Yes, I can. So my husband called and said that I needed to come over here and run all of the water here at our rental because we finally got it rented, guys. Oh, my word. So we're trying to clean out all the tanks and stuff, you know, because after a, it's been sitting for a little while, we want to make sure they've got nice, good, fresh, um, water. So we're gonna run all of the hot water for about 15, 15 minutes or so, clean it all out, make sure all the gunk's out, and then we should be golden. And he is like the half an hour out of town. Guys, I'm like literally geeking out about this whole car situation. I am so, I am so excited. I know it's just the car, but Oh man, I've been driving hoopty for a long time and I'm so, so excited. Stop at Cantwell for some munchies. And usually it's worth it because you go to the bathroom and uh, if you talk to the people here at the stores, um, they always have a good idea how the roads are. So depending on if you're heading north or south, um, I just asked him. I said, "Hey, how's the uh, how the roads heading north?" And he goes, "That sounds good from what I've heard." So always good news. Pringles, eating in my wife's new car. Sorry, honey. children? Yeah. That's awesome. Good. Everyone was a little bit time out. You had a little bit of a time yeah, out problem? Me too. 
<coughs> oh, jeez. Who's on their way home? Daddy. What is he bringing? Supplies? Krispy Kreme. <laughs> he is bringing Krispy Kreme, I think. And there's something else. A new car. A new car. Oh my gosh, is that him? Hello? Hello? Yes? Okay, I'm just coming. <gasps> Is he gonna drive the car right now? Yes. I'm gonna go look at him. Ah! Alright, almost home, guys. Almost home. My wife is excited. Right, stay tuned for massive wife excitement. Oh my gosh! Look at it! Which one? <laughs> Hello, Daddy. did you miss me? Yeah, look at that. Uh, what do you think? Back here. Good. Yeah, go look in your seat. <laughs> what do you think? Love it. I wish Audrey could be here. Oh well, she'll see it in a little bit. Your chariot, my love. Miss <laughs> gracious! I know. It's so pretty. I know. I know. I know. Told you, it looks bad. new. The backupies. Yep. I love riding in here. You do? Do you That's love daddy? it, buddy? Oh, Dad, what's this? You want to watch the road? <laughs> okay, I, I just drove you. this 400 miles. <laughs> let's not let's not trash it on the loop. <laughs> trash it up, ditch it. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey, are you kidding me right now? This is real. Are you really kidding happening. me right now? It's really happening. You found this three days ago I online. Love it. Okay, honey, the window goes up and down, the gas gauge works, the ABS brakes work, and the four-wheel drive work. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Daddy, oh my what's gosh, I'm this? So 